Watch for a cold front pushing through Tuesday afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd. Here's your on-demand storm tracker forecast. We're in the warm sector of an approaching storm system, so it's mild, cloudy, and windy this afternoon. Broad area of rain and snow pushing into the eastern Idaho area, bumping up against the Montana-Idaho state line. So watch for accumulating snow down here near Manita Pass, as well as some blowing snow, and over towards Reynolds Pass, Targhee Pass, and into the West Yellowstone area as well. Wind warnings are up along the Front Range and a wind advisory for the Livingston area. These areas could see gusts over 60 miles per hour this afternoon and into this evening. Higher elevation, moderate snow is possible in the next 24 hours. Like around Big Sky, you move out towards the Anaconda Pitler Wilderness areas out there and you're looking at some moderate snow as well. So these little pink areas, higher mountain peaks could have over a foot of snow. That's excellent mountain snow. Most lower valleys should be less than an inch and if we see any snow down the lower valleys it'll melt off because you can see the temperatures. Fort Butte will be a slight cool down for your Wednesday but still well above freezing. St. Patrick's Day looking outstanding. 47 mostly sunny and you can see the numbers are staying in that mid to upper 40 range heading into the early half of the weekend. Bozeman again a few rain and snow showers tonight. Mostly dry and cooler tomorrow. Mild for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a few snowflakes Sunday morning. Overall, these are decent temperatures this time of the year. Quick look at Dillon, 40s, maybe some 50s in there, slight chance for snow on Sunday. But again, my night pass south of you will be seeing snow this evening. And West Yellowstone picking up snow tonight into tomorrow morning. But your next chance for snow doesn't show up until Sunday.